it was not okay. So thank you once again. Well, thanks uh, to Pastor Clyde and to uh, to Robbie Kellum for introducing me to you. Um, I uh, I just wanted to start out. Let's go back. When when were you born and where were you born? I was born in 1927, August the third. I had a birthday last Saturday, 97 years old, and I was born in Jacksonville, Florida. Ah, okay. And uh, now, tell me about your parents. My parents, Leola Jackson, she's dead. My father, Nathan Jackson, he's dead. And frankly speaking, all of my blood kin, brothers and sisters, I'm the only one alive. Okay. And, and what did your parents do? Farm work. Okay. Housework, whatever work that was open that they could do, that's what they did. Yeah, yeah. In the farm work, what uh, what kind of farm work did they do? Well, they cut cabbage, lettuce, celery, pick oranges, corn, all anything they raised on the farm. That's what they worked in. Ah, and how many siblings did you have? She had nine. Nine. What number in the family were you? The oldest one. Oh, and you are the only living sibling. Uh, You're the oldest living sibling. I'm, then, the the old, only. I'm the oldest one living, period. God, yeah. You remember um, a gentleman by the name of, uh, 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 oh, I'm going to blank on his name now, Thomas Spann from the Brooklyn All-Stars. No, we see, I don't know any of those. I wasn't, uh, I sang, but I was with a little local group Okay. around Sarasota. And some of those people I met when I, I married. A man that sang in a gospel group. And well, he was the, with the Golden Gospel Arabs. Okay. Well, so, I wanted to ask you about that. Now, were your parents musical? Huh? Were your parents musical? Did they sing or play any instruments? No, they didn't play no instruments. They sang, but you know, like just a regular song in church. You think they didn't know nothing about instruments like children's and people's have nine churches. It was clapping hands and patting feet. You know, and just singing. Yeah. Now, uh, what church did you grow up in? Baptist. And what was the Missionary name of the... Baptist? Yeah. What What was the name of the church? New Bethel. Okay. Was it a small church or a big church or? It was about. It was a small church. But it was like in a wooded area like this is now. Okay. Like in, out in the country. In, in near Jacksonville. Huh? Near Jacksonville, uh, yes. Mrs. yeah, yeah, Florida. No, it wasn't near Jacksonville. It was about twenty miles from here. Okay. Oh, the place okay. out by D-Land, Florida. Oh, D-Land, sure. Mm -hmm. Um, now, did you sing in church? Yeah, I still sing in church. What, when did you do your first solo in church? I can't tell you. I think I might have been about leaving me twelve years old. And so you. Do you remember what song you would have sung? Yes, Jesus Loved Me. Okay. Did you always want to sing? Well, I wanted to and always did because I always I was brought up in a Christian family. Mm -hmm. And they always had something in church for us to do from children. When I was four years old, I was singing the 23rd song by heart and things. So anyway, I was brought up, you know, singing just regular hymns and thing in the uh, church. Did you sing in the choir? Yes, I sang in the choir. Okay. And mostly we sang vocal because we didn't have music till we found somebody that could play a piano or something. Yeah. Now, um, what, I know what gospel music wasn't around right away. Uh, you said you sang hymns. Did you, when did you start singing some gospel music in church? Well, all we ever sung, it was gospel. Okay, okay. You know, we didn't sing like the, like they're singing now, anything. But it was good hymns. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Do you have a favorite hymn? Huh? Do yes. you have a favorite? All of my sing is favorite because I love the Lord, and all I sing is favorite. Okay, and um, so that was your first exposure to uh, to church music. Um, what else did you do while growing up in that area? Oh, well, while I was growing up, I just went to Sunday school, mm -hmm. you know, in church, and we sang mm -hmm. and everything in church. And as I got older, 
I learned how to teach Sunday school, sang in the choir. I took up collection, usher, whatever was open, you know, that they needed somebody to do. I did it all but preaching. I thought sometime I'd go preach. Yeah. Oh, okay. Was that? I did, know nobody didn't call me to preach. Okay. But sometimes the preacher would be late. And and so did you, were you able to get up and start start the service if the preacher was late? No. Oh. I wasn't ever that bold. <laughs> it wasn't allowed back then. I know. I know. But you thought about maybe becoming a preacher when you grew up? No, I never oh. thought about it. Oh, okay. I just enjoyed sitting back and saying amen to the preacher that preaching. Yeah. Yeah. What about, um, what was what was Jacksonville or your area like growing up? I don't know. Mama left there when I was about six weeks old. And oh, she I never did. went back there to Leo. Okay. So most of the time you grew up, you say near around Sanford, Florida. Okay, and 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 that was D Land and Sanford in that area. D Land, <clears throat> Sanford is about twenty some miles from D Land. Okay, so you grew up in Sanford, basically. I grew yeah. up in Sanford. What as was it I like? Got, as I got older, I moved to Sarasota. Okay, what was what was uh, it like growing up uh, in in, uh, in the, the D Land and and that area there? I was a visitor at D-Land. I didn't live in D-Land. Okay. I lived out from D-Land to a place like this city called Blackwater, Florida, mm -hmm. where this company here was come from. Okay. And okay. Um, so, but we would go to D-Land for shopping. Oh, okay. Okay. So what was, what was that area like when you were growing up, uh, you know, uh, in, in where you, where you lived, uh, uh, where I lived, where I lived at. Yeah. What was it like? It was a Christian area. Mm -hmm. People loved everybody like they do here in this area, mm -hmm. and everything we know to love, or we got beat up. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So everybody was family, kind of. Everybody uh, was family. Um, and uh, did you have to help the, the your your mom with the with the farming and all that? Yes, I had to help mom learn how to cook, clean. Learn how to love and treat people, work, and don't get fired from the job for not doing the work. I learned how to do all of that. Okay. What kind of jobs did you do? Whatever was open, and I could okay. find a job. Okay. Did you and your siblings all work together? No. I was the only girl, but she had eight more children, but all was boys. Oh. And I was the only girl, so naturally I had to stay around the house with in the summer, when the groves, orange groves and things, the people who wasn't working, they would catch trucks and go up north and pick apples and cherries and things like that. So you stayed home with your mom and took care of the house? Yeah, not that she wanted me to. <laughs> yeah. She had no choice. <laughs> right. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, and, and, and uh, you know, just... It, did you uh, also enjoy other kinds of music besides church music? No, because you see, when we were growing up, they didn't have all this kind of music that they have. Now, every once in a while, somebody had a old guitar with one string or two, and you might hear them at night picking on that. But most of it was church music that we grew up with until we got a certain age and we lived around, not from around mom and them, mm -hmm. you know, in other towns and things. And then where it was joints where they had the drinks and everything. Then, you know, I've heard other music, but I never wanted to sing. But once I come in the knowledge of knowing who Jesus was, that's all I wanted. Yeah. Was Jesus. When when uh, when were you baptized? When did you uh, accept when Jesus? That's 67, 68 years ago. Oh, wow. So tell me about that. What was that experience? Well, it was a beautiful experience. Nothing like that. You can't heat water on a stove that feels like that water. Now, I don't know about the pools now, because they got them in church, but see, we went in creeks, mm -hmm. and we didn't have cars and highways. We walked from the church, marched from the church to the water and everything. Ah. What creek did you get baptized in? In Blackwater Creek. Blackwater Creek. Mm -hmm. Wow. What an experience. It was a great experience from looking on the side of the canyon in the water, and you're looking across the water at the alligators on the bank, the snakes crawling in. And everything, but if you got Jesus, you didn't see all of that. It didn't scare you. That's right. 
That's right. Wow. Wow. So um, as you as you got old, did you go to you? How, how did you go to school in that area? I went to school, yes, until I was I was in the sixth grade when we moved from there. Okay. Then we moved to Sanford. Then I went to the eleventh grade. I didn't finish it, but I went to the eleventh grade. So then I thought I was grown, and I just quit school. Period, and got me a job. Okay, and what what uh, job did you get? Babysitting, cleaning house, taking in washing and ironing, picking up oranges off the ground where people don't shuck them off the trees and things. Whatever was open, cause you couldn't stay in my mama's house and not work. You yeah. either went to school or you worked. So I left the school and I had to go to work. Yeah. And uh, uh, um, then you still lived at your mom's house at that time? Huh? You still lived at your mom's house at that time? I lived at my mom's house until I was 15 years old. Okay, great. And, and I uh, thought I was grown and I moved out. So how did you get involved with uh, singing gospel in a group? We're singing in the church, in the choir. And, you know, and different ones in the choir could sing different voices and we would get us a little group, you know, and on a Saturday evening, people didn't allow their children to go to clubs and things like they do now. And on a Saturday evening, we would get out in the yard and make a fire, and we sang out there in the yard, and the older folks would be out there with us, and some of them would pray and all kind of thing like that. Ah, okay. And uh, I understand you had a group called the Silver Heirs. The Silver Heirs. That was the little group I was belonged to in Sarasota. Okay. Was that the first group you belonged to? Yeah, that was the first group. Okay. And see, we wasn't a we wasn't a record, a recording group. We just, you know, would sing to different churches and like they have them, a convention or revival or something, and they would have us on program. Okay. Did you sing with music or did you sing without music? Either one. Okay. All right. Uh, who were some of the members of the Silver Heirs beside yourself? All of those are dead now, but some of them, Laverne Morris, we had one of her daughters to speak here at this church about two years ago, her sister and me. Okay. Were there any groups that you uh, looked up to or fashioned yourself after? No. I enjoyed listening to other groups singing. Mm -hmm. I loved to hear the gospel singers, Love, Doris Love. Caravans and all of those people. And I love the song that they sang, Shirley Caesar and everything. But see, we never went that far or got that high. Yeah. Yeah. There's probably, no, I say not probably, there are more groups like the Silver Airs than the Caravans. Most groups never got that high. Mm -hmm. uh, but you sang for the Lord. Um, what are some of the songs that you sang with the group? Well, some of the songs that we sang, mm -hmm. we sang, he don't come when you want him, but he's right on time. Can't hurry God. Jesus love me. Take me to the water. I'm a trust in the Lord. All of those kind of songs. Now, were you a lead singer? In some songs. Okay. What what songs did you lead? Whatever one they let me lead. <laughs> so we didn't have no special you know, song. Mm -hmm. and they pick out for the choir what they want to sing, and they had a song that we go sing, and whatever song it was on there that I was supposed to lead, that's what I led. Okay. Was your group associated with a specific church at that time? No, we all belonged to the same church in Sarasota. Okay. And what church was that? Mount Zion, okay. Missionary Baptist Church. Okay. So who were some of the artists that you uh, shared the stage with when you were singing, you know, at convention? We, we always, most of, we opened up, it was a guy in uh, Tampa. He carried groups around, his name was Goldie Thompson. And the man that I married, he sang with the gospel group, the gospel Arabs. And that's where we got the name, the Sylvia. So most of when they would be booked down on this end, we would be on program to open up the program for them. So you were the silver heirs and they were the gospel heirs. Uh -huh. Yes. And, so we and then, had boyfriends in the gospel heirs, so they named us the silver heirs. Ah, okay. And then, uh, so that's how you met your husband. Is, yes, is, I met him. Okay. And um, 
when you saying some of the, did some of the, some of the big groups can you or some of the, can you name some of the big groups that you uh, opened for? We opened for the gospel. We have opened for the clouds of joy. We opened for the what's called the, the spirituals and the soul stirrers. We have opened up, you know, opened up the service for them. Ah, so did you ever get a chance to meet Sam Cook? Yes, I met Sam Cook. What what was your he died? What did you think so of? We, speaking, what, we was in Atlanta, Georgia, when he passed. Oh, okay. What was he like when you met him? He he was very nice. He uh, uh and what about uh, did you ever get a chance to meet uh R H Harris the Pops Harris from Who the Soul that was from the Soulsters he was another singer with the Soulsters I met a lot of the Soulsters but named I couldn't call them now okay okay ever sing with the Dixie Hummingbirds or the Swan I, Silvertones I met the Dixie Hummingbirds one of them just died here not long ago that yeah. main one in there yeah yeah that was that uh, it's, 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 I. As we said, we are talking. I don't forgot a lot of names that I can't remember mm -hmm. and yeah. everything, but I can remember some of the songs that I've heard them sing. Mm -hmm. What was your group's? Uh, every it seems like every group had a song that they were best known for. What What was the Silver Airs best known for singing? The best one we sung, we had loved to sing it was a hymn. Oh, how I love Jesus. Okay, yeah. Now, did anyone ever approach you to sing rock and roll? No. Because I was brought up with not. Yeah. See, when I was, grow up, was brought up, you couldn't even bring a car that you find on the ground, not at the house, right. at not my mama's house, yeah. or dice or nothing. You had to do just church. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, and and tell me about your. So your your husband's group was the go, the gospel heirs. Gospel heirs. And, all, and of them, all of them is dead. And his name was your husband's name. My husband's name was Melvin Pullen. Okay. And he was the lead singer in the group. Did he sing with other groups as well? No, he only sang with them. And when uh, he retired, Frank speaking, they started dying, and the group broke broke up. Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, they never recorded either. No, they recorded, but they wasn't uh, copyright, you know, no agents, you know, to copyright them and things. Okay. But they were recording, some, make, you know, sell their own records at the church and thing. they would beat them. Oh, okay. And and what uh, what year years would this would have been? Um, uh, what what year or decade might this have been when they were Well, active? this was in the 70s and the 80s. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Cause yeah, so I'll, and his name was Melvin Pullen. Melvin Pullen. Okay, and who were some of the other members of the Gospel Heirs? Well, Bob Washington and the Stanley. Can't call them by name, but Stanley, Bob Washington, they were lead singers and uh, the guitar players and everything. But they was all you know in the uh, with the group. Yeah, was that? And I say it had been so long ago. And at my age, I just don't can't remember names so well. Oh yeah, was Paul Arnold in the group at that time? Who? Paul Arnold. Paul Arnold, yes, he was with the Gospel Air. Yeah, yeah. And you know, all of them is dead now. They sure are. I know his daughter. Uh, she's her name is Khadija now. But yeah, I, yeah, I know Khadija, uh, Paul Arnold's daughter, and met his family. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, uh, as Melvin Pullum, I certainly know that name. Um, and yeah, uh, that man, that was the man I married. We yeah. married in 70, and he died in 20, and 2020. So did, um, how, when you traveled around, was it just locally, or or did you go further than? He, he traveled, but I didn't. I always had a job. Mm -hmm. Somebody had to work. That's right. Because during that time, the people weren't buying these 20 and $30 tickets. They are putting that dollar on the table. Yep, yep. Um, did, uh, uh, now, how many children did you have? None. None. Okay, so it was just the two of you. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, no, he had he had one. Oh, but it was by another wife. Okay. So he okay. and I didn't have any. Okay. And what what work did you do uh, when you were an adult and and he was on the road? I was working to the Shelton Hotel. Oh. 
in Great. Charlotte, North Carolina. Oh, and that's where you were living at the time? That's where I was living when he and I was married. Okay. I met him in Tampa, Florida. Then we got married and he lived in Charlotte, North oh. Carolina. Okay. So to be with him, that's where I had to move to. Yeah. So tell me how you how did you meet? What was what was that day when you met? Huh? What, what, what was what? How was it that? What, what was it like when you met him? When the, the time you met him? Well, when I met him, I didn't want to speak to him because <laughs> I didn't like no short peoples. <laughs> so I didn't want to speak to him. But he just kept on talking. And finally, I started speaking to him. Mm -hmm. Then I wound up married. So I don't know how I got married to a short man when I was looking to the Lord long, but didn't know long tall ones want me. <laughs> oh dear. Wow. And then you 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 were married for how many years? 32. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. So did so the Silver Heirs, how long did they were they in they stick so we, around? We we was together maybe about three or four years because we started getting married and different ones going different places and everything and then some of their husband, he didn't want them to sing or they didn't want to do the right thing. And so we just broke up completely. Okay. But I still hang on to the choir in the churches. Okay. And is that Mount Zion? Was that in Sarasota? That was in Sarasota. Okay. So you still sang with the choir there. Mm -hmm. Then when I went to went to Charlotte, North Carolina, I joined Piney Grove, a missionary Baptist church. Okay. Yeah. When you were in Charlotte, I know a number of the Blind Boys of Alabama lived around there. Uh, nothing about Alabama. Okay, because they moved, some of them moved to North Carolina around Charlotte. Mm -hmm. Even though they were from Alabama, they ended up sort of somehow living near in, in North Carolina. But um, so did you, uh, when you sang for the church, uh, did you continue to sing with the choir and do solos or or just yes, in the choir? I've done solos. Then I sang with the choir, you know, in the, with the choir group. Yeah, okay. Did any of those churches ever record uh, the choir. No. Oh, that's a shame. It would have been lovely to hear, you know, you with those choirs back in the day. Yeah. Well, then what I'm saying, during that time, we didn't know a lot about recording mm -hmm. and everything. The only song that we know was recorded was about uh, Golden Gates and the Fairfield Folk. Yeah. They heard them on the radio. Yeah. But the hummingbirds and things like that. As we grow older, we would, you know, listen at them on the radio because we didn't have TVs and things. Right. Then they got where they would travel and different churches would book them at their church, you know, for singing and things. Mm -hmm. They would probably bring their records with them to sell, you know, with them sometimes. And then they would they would make their own little records and yeah. seven to eight, seven to records. Yeah. And they would make their own little records and, you know, stand at the door and sell them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and yeah, and I know about the Gospel Airs, uh, 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 records because they, you know, obviously they they became pretty famous, you know, for what they did. Uh, and but they was, never was recording artists like the Hummingbirds and things. Right, right, right. They made their own, you know, recording. They never got nobody to say copyright them and thing like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So now, um. Other were you in any other groups besides the Silver Airs? No. Okay. Just in the choir. Yes, yeah, just the choir. And tell me about now. You're singing for the church now. Yeah. So uh uh tell me a little bit about that that you're singing. Are you uh, I sing here and this is my church, this is where I belong at. And whatever, you know, the spirit tells me to sing, that's what I sing. Mm -hmm. So, so what, we enjoy having we enjoy having service right here in this here little building. It ain't a house full all the time, and then it's still a house full because Jesus is in there. Wherever He is, it's a house full. Yeah. So when you when uh, the Spirit takes you, what what are some of the songs that you do sing uh, for the church? Sometimes I sing hymns, and sometimes I just sing a regular solo song that I can sing by myself or something, just whatever. The spirit tells me, you see, I move by what the spirit say do. Mm -hmm. And if the spirit say don't, I don't. And there's a choir there as well. And you sing with the mm -hmm. choir. 
Huh? Do you sing with, is there a choir there as well? And do you No, sing we don't have a choir right now. Okay. So, so you sing, is anyone play piano or organ for you? Well, someone comes in some time and play the piano and beat the drum, but we mostly just hand shaking a feet pad and oh. just congregation singing. Oh, wonderful. How wonderful. Um, now, uh, you know, looking back at some, was there, you know, I always like to, you know, it, it can be, you know, church singing can be very serious, but there can also be times when things happen that are funny. Did, was there ever a time when you were singing with the Silver Airs where there, something happened that was funny on the stage or? No, because this, during this same period, people was more serious about church than they is now. Mm -hmm. They didn't care about how you were dressed and everything, but now if you ain't got on a certain outfit, cost so much, Somebody they go wistful about you. But then people went to church for church mm -hmm. and to serve the Lord, not to sit up there and giggle and things. So we didn't have no special people that we would make fun at. Right, right, right. What about the, did you wear, uh, what was the uh, uniform for the silvers? Well, with the silvers, we had a skirt and a blouse. Mm -hmm. We didn't have robes and things, you know, and like the peoples have now. We had a skirt and a blouse. Uh, did anyone did it uh that you mentioned the gentleman in tampa did anyone ever want to take you around the country and make it make you no, bigger he died okay but uh, did anyone ever want to make your group bigger than it was and say you know hey listen i could take you around the country or book you in different things no because i never wanted to go around the country i never wanted to leave my mama i want uh, to stay with her yeah yeah and everybody yeah. was surprised when i got married yeah. Well, did you move to Charlotte right away when you got married? I married in Charlotte. Oh, you married in Charlotte. Okay. Mm -hmm. And how long, how many years did you live in Charlotte? I lived in Charlotte 32 years till my husband passed okay. in 2020. Okay. And is that when you moved back to Florida? No, I had, we had moved back to Florida. Then we moved back to Florida in 87. Oh, okay. Okay. And it, okay. He retired and, uh, so we came down here to live. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, and uh, what are some of your fondest memories of just singing uh, as the Silver Airs and singing back in those days? We're just singing because like you say, we didn't have the pianos and things, guitars and drums. We just sang. And it was patting our hands of our feet. And uh, it's just more, the spirit was more there then than it is now because the most of the times now, People is going to be seen. Or people that say, well, you know, they sung a song. Did you hear how they sung or talked or preach? But then people didn't pay that no attention. Like the Bible say, come as you are. Mm -hmm. Say, behold, I stand at your door and knock. And if any man open up, I'll come in. You see, and this is what we would do. We would just open up. And when we open up, the spirit would come in. So we had a good time in singing and shouting. We done that too. Sure, sure. Talking, we done that too, but it was yeah. talking about the law. I, I'm guessing there were many programs where it got very spiritual in the room. Well, you learn, you learn how when you come in the knowledge of knowing the Lord, you come in the knowledge of having the Spirit with you. Because wherever you go, whatever church you in, or whatever you doing in the name of Jesus Christ, the Spirit is there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Do you ever miss singing in a group? No. no. I sang by myself at my house, mm -hmm. on the Fish Creek, on the highway. I sang in the church. So singer. I don't miss it. I love it. How, how far How far did you travel as the Silver Airs? How far did you go from Tampa, Florida? Tampa, Florida. Um, and never any trouble on the roads or anything? Yeah, we had flat tires. Okay. But other than that. Yeah, I don't think there's a single group that hasn't had some car problem. Yeah, you know, yeah we, some... we had to give out of gas. Oh, oh. So we most was most in walking distance of where we was living at. Mm -hmm. So we had fun walking home when this yeah. happened. And yeah. you didn't have to worry about somebody stealing your cars and things when you while you was gone. Yeah, yeah. And certainly in those days, Florida wasn't the most, uh, well, 
a pleasant place for African Americans to live. Did anyone ever bother your group? No. Good. No, bother me. If any bother than I done the bother. <laughs> Did you have a situation where you had to, to do some bothering? No, I oh. had to. We ain't got in them kind of fights. You know, child children's was, and that's yeah. how we did. Yeah. And I could run, so I know how to run good. It's always it's good to know that. Um, so I understand the church has something set up. It's like you have your own little section at the church where you sit every for the service. and. Oh, yeah. Yep. Where I sit. Yeah. Every Sunday, and where I was sitting when they told me to come over here. Yeah. Okay. I sit over there. So look, looking back, what are you know uh, as far as singing? Um, uh, you don't. Do you miss like not doing it like professionally, or you know having not being a Shirley Caesar or somebody like that? No, I don't miss them. I listen at them on TV and things like that, but I don't miss them because you see, as I say, I love the Lord. Mm -hmm. And when you saying anything or you talking about the Lord, you got somebody to talk with you because that's who I love to talk about. So I can't miss it when you're talking about the Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah. And uh, did you ever want at ever any time in your career think maybe you would want to become as Famous as a Shirley Caesar? No, I never did. Yeah. I want to just be me. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. And and some of what were some of the other things you did uh, as you know as an adult? You had mentioned a few things. Uh, what are some of the other jobs you had? Nothing but working to the hotel mm -hmm. in Charlotte. Mm -hmm. And when I came here, I worked to San San Leo College. And everything, you know, in the kitchen part and everything, but no professional right. jobs. Yeah. So working in the kitchen. So are, are you cooking you must, yeah. and eating? So what what is your favorite dish that you prepare that everybody wants to eat? Food. So anything huh, that, that you and make? If it was food and it was done, you didn't <laughs> have no problem. <laughs> what is your what is your favorite thing to cook? Everything. Oh, you cook it all. Yeah. What's your favorite I love, meal? I love to cook cakes, pies, but I always cook from stretch. I don't like this cake mix and this cane stuff. I always cook from stretch what I cook. Now, to me, it be good. I don't know how it'd be to other people, but they eat it. <laughs> I'm sure they do. I'm sure that he cook for the church. Yeah, we cook at home, you know, and bring it to the church. We never had to cook, you know, in the church. Our dining room always was small. So we cook and bring the food, you know, and they can go in there and eat and everything. So who are your favorite singers now when you, or do you listen to the gospel music on the radio? Yeah, I listen at them on the TV, but it's not like it used to be. And Frank speaking ain't nothing mm -hmm. like it used to be. You see, they got more jazz now in the singing. And if they ain't uh, dancing and jumping and things, they figure they ain't singing. But see, we just stood and we clapped our hand. And if the spirit hit you, you moved. Wow. And see, lots of the groups, they shout to start shouting, to start the people in the audience to shout. Because right. I had went to program, you know, what my husband and would be on. And I would watch them. I would watch them and they rehearse them and see what they're doing. And you know exactly what song they was gonna shout off of, and what song they were gonna sing that to, they go get the congregation to sing and to shout off. That's right. I'm gonna ride this train. Wasn't that one of their songs? Huh? Didn't they sing "I'm gonna ride this train"? I'm gonna ride this train, this gospel train. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, they had "Rest for the Weary" and all those great songs. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, the, the gospel airs. Um, is there a, a who was your favorite? gospel artist growing up? My favorite gospel artist was Mahalia Jackson. Okay. Did you ever get to meet her? No, I never met her. I've seen her on TV, but I never met her personally, but I heard her. Yeah, yeah, because I wondered if if you had ever sung on the program with her or opened, you know, that kind of thing. Now, I would sing some of the songs that she used to sing when she was alive and things. Mm -hmm. 
now um what what uh did you ever get a chance to meet uh, Dorothy Lovecoats? Uh, uh, the, the Dorothy Love Coats from the Gospel. Dorothy Love, yep. I met them, the Hominets. They used to come to Tampa. This same man, what I talked about, Goldie Thompson, he used to book them mm -hmm. there in Tampa. And you and you opened. Uh, yeah, she was, because it sounds like your group sang a lot of their songs and uh, uh, and that sort of thing. Yeah. Um, what about the caravans? Did you meet the caravans? Caravan. I heard them. Shelly Caesar used to sing with them. Yep. So yep. she started preaching. Did you ever share a stage with the caravans as a group? No, I never. I never. We never opened up a program for the okay. caravan. Okay. But we would be to a program that they would be on. Yeah. Yeah. I wanted to ask you about those programs. Would you go to gospel programs when they came to town? Oh yeah. Yeah. Tell me about some of the programs you were at. Oh, I went to. I couldn't call all of the names now, but the Soul Stirrers, the Pilgrim Travelers, Gospel Jubilees, Hummingbirds. I can't call all of them names, but yeah. the most of them. Yeah. If I was close around, because I didn't have no transportation, I would go if I could get somebody to take me, because I love the Lord, like I say, and I love to hear singing mm -hmm. and praying when people mm -hmm. ain't playing. Yeah, yeah. Do you still go to programs? No, here I here I do. I don't drive now, mm -hmm. and the most of the people that I know that go to church, they don't drive either. They don't got up in age. Yeah, yeah. So we go to church, and if it's a program going on at church, other different churches around here, we attend. Okay. So, what do you uh, how, uh, it being ninety seven? What do you think has been the secret to your long life? Serving the Lord and loving people, being humble, and serving the Lord with my whole heart and mind and soul, and loving everybody I meet, because that's what he said. Even you know they're talking about you and they don't like you, you got to love them. The one that persecutes you, they all mean things about you, you got to love them. So this is, I believe, what got me. And then being on a mother like Leola Jackson, you had to. Yeah. You didn't yep. stay around the house and shooting marbles and things when it was time to go to church. And when everything went on, we was involved in it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I grew up in the church, and I still love it. I, I, I have to imagine your mom raising nine children. That must have been something. It was. Yeah. Not to her. Yeah. Because see, we know what she was going to do. And then at this time, everybody, you didn't know who mama was. Everybody could chastise your child, but now the teachers can't chastise. Right. Right. Yeah. Everybody in the neighborhood back in those days could chastise you. Yeah. Did any of your brothers go on to be in music? No. They're football players and no. Uh, Teachers, principals. Okay, okay. Um, and you said, um, did they all stay in the same area or did they move? No, they did, lived in different towns, Philadelphia, in New York, in different places. They was in the Army. I got a brother passed about five, six years ago. He was in the Army, 42 years. He's a major. Okay. And everything. So. Uh, now, uh, uh, do you have nieces and nephews? Well, I, I don't know. Some of them I don't know. Okay. Some of them I've never seen because, as I said, I didn't live around them. Yeah. As we got grown, we scattered. Ah, yeah. Gotcha. And we talked or we wrote. And every once in a while, we have a family reunion, and maybe it's half of them will get together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you, do you still have reunions? Family uh -huh. re I mean, does any part of the family still have family reunions? No, all of my family. From my mother and my father's side is dead. Mm -hmm. So I'm the only living family. Now I got cousins and things scattered around Florida. Mm -hmm. I got one lived down here from uh, Grover. Okay. And he'll call 
once a year and he can't get me, then he'll call the police and send the police to the house to find out how I am. Oh. I, told the police, I told the police if I get my hands on him, I'm going to kill him. <laughs> right. Yeah, right. It's good to have him, the police there when that happens. Yeah, he'll send the police. Oh and it took us him. <laughs> um, no, that's it, great. I mean, other people, uh, and obviously the church watches out for you as well and make sure you're okay. Huh? Uh, people in the church take care of you as well and make sure you're okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think about myself. Yeah. And I have a three bedroom house, and me and Jesus is in that house. This lady here, her husband, my pastor, they always check to find out if I'm all right. You got food to eat. They got me laser by cooking. Ah, okay. Because every time I think I'm going to cook something, here they come with a plate, <laughs> and I eat it. Sometimes ah. I know what it is, and sometimes I don't, but it be good because I eat it. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Well, you know, you're a you're a role model for so many people. Uh, you know, some people are, you know, in their 70s and 80s and, you know, not able to take good care of themselves. And here you are, 97, living by yourself, cooking for everyone. I, God still, I still cook, clean, go. I just stopped fishing about a year ago. Oh, okay. And I give them a driving license. Friday going about three weeks ago. I give them up because the people now... You know, they used to fight with sticks and things, but now they shoot. Yeah. And I'd be scared I'd be out there driving and bump up against somebody and they shoot me. So I give up my life and so that I don't get shot or hit nobody car. No, I, yeah, 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 yeah. Protect, protect your life. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, so, yeah, I, 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 I totally get it. And I think, you know, what, what you're doing with the church is marvelous. I think that's probably like you said it's another testament to your your longevity is that you stay active in the church you're still participating in the church yes, and, and you're still doing things yeah yeah well if there's a a, a a a saying or a motto or anything that you would like to share with the audience uh about you know your your belief in life what would you say precious lord take my hand lead me on and let me stand lord i'm so tired I am weak, I am alone, through the storm, through the night, lead me on to a brighter light. Precious Lord, and lead me on. Amen. Thank you. Thank you so much. I didn't know if I could ask you to sing, and I'm glad you sang anyway. I appreciate that. You um, told me what I sang for my church, and that's yeah. when I sang for my church. Uh, do, do you want to sing one more song before we close out? Yeah, I can. Sure, sir. Anything you would like. Grace. Grace. God's grace. His grace. Is sufficient for me. Yes, it is. Grace. Grace. God's grace. His grace will give you the victory. Grace woke me up this morning. 
Grace on me on my way. Grace will make you love all of your enemies. Most of all, he will lead you home someday. That's why I sing about grace. Grace. God. Grace. His grace is sufficient for me. Yes, it is. Grace. Nothing but grace, God, grace, his grace will give me the victory. All right. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. Well, Miss Pullen, keep doing what you're doing. Um, thank you for sharing your life and your talent with us. Uh, and uh, God willing, maybe we'll meet in person someday. Uh, thank you. And thank you know, you. keep keep. Yeah, you 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 know you you are an inspiration for all of us in a time when things can look so dark. It's always good to know there's somebody out there still mm -hmm. singing, still singing for the Lord still independent and strong and resilient. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you for listening, Admin. I was kind of halfway scared because I didn't know what I was going to do or what. But whatever I do, I do it in the name of Jesus. So he always give me a word to say or something to say in my behalf for him. That's right.